Hey guys, thank you for joining me in my garden today. In this video, I'm gonna be covering why you should top your pepper plants whenever you first get them from the nursery or if you are growing them from seeds. So whenever you get a pepper plant, it's probably six to eight inches tall. And what you wanna do is you want to cut the top of that plant off. And why you wanna do that is because it's going to send the growth hormone back down into the root system whenever you transplant it. And what that's gonna do, it's going to keep your plant from being so lanky. It's gonna get a lot of foliage, from, um, just like this one that I have here. This is a snackable red that I had topped. And as you can see, it has a lot of leaves on it. It's bushing out. And that's exactly what I want with these pepper plants because whenever they bush out, there are more chances of you getting more fruit, which is what you wanna do. You want to get the maximum yield whenever you're doing gardening. So um, if you have pepper plants right now that um, you may have just gotten from the nursery, what you wanna do is look at the top of it. You're gonna have about Two, two small leaves and four big leaves coming out right at the top. And you may have a bud or two there. So that's gonna be where you want to cut it. But you want to make sure that you have at least four leaves below where you are going to cut it. Now pepper plants are great because they grow really, really, really quick. And um, they, they thrive in a lot of different environments. So like I said here, this is the snackable red bell pepper variety. There are many bell peppers, um, but it looks really lush and really beautiful. And I have a pepper plant that I actually did not top just so I could show the difference. And we're gonna go look at that one right now. Here I have my pepper plant that I didn't top. And this is just a typical bell pepper plant. And as you can see, it does not have a lot of foliage on it. Um, there's only, I think, two more buds on it, on it, and then there's one bell pepper plant. So whenever you top your plants, remember I said it sends that growth hormone back down to really establish the root system and then to try to bush out so you can get more peppers, um, more buds. And whenever you leave them like this, if this were to get heavy with fruit, then it would topple over. And um, if a bad storm comes, then it has a chance of getting snapped a little bit more because it's just kind of a tall and lanky plant. And that's not what I want. Like I said, I want my maximum yield that I can get. So this is just a result of not cutting it. Um, so if your pepper plants look like this, that's probably why. But now I'm gonna show you some of my other ones that I did top and so that way you can compare them to this little guy. I do have another green pepper plant on the other side of the garden that I'm gonna show you a side by picture of right now. And as you can see, they are completely different, very large. They were both planted at the same time. All of my plants are in the same soil. They're on the same watering schedule. They all get about the same amount of sun. So it shouldn't be too much of a difference, but as you can see, it's a huge difference. Okay, right here I have a banana pepper plant, and you can see that this one is also starting to bush out really nicely. You may be asking, Sarah, where do I cut this off at? So I'm gonna show you, it's gonna look just a little bit different on your plant if yours is new from the nursery, but let's pretend that this part right here was my main stem. Okay, and I had just gotten it back from the nursery. It's a good height, it's about seven inches tall, and then on the top, say that's part of the main stem. I have these two little leaves and I have a few bigger leaves. So that would be where you want to cut it as long as you have at least four leaves below it. If you do not have those four leaves yet, then you need to wait. But that is where you would top it and you would just snip it. It doesn't matter if it's budding. You wanna make sure that you take off all those buds because it's going to bush out. And it's gonna take a couple weeks for it to bush out, but you just have to be patient with them. All right, so this is my other green bell pepper plant. And as you can see, it looks a lot different from the one that I did not top. The leaves are a different color. It has a lot more foliage. It has a lot more buds on it. And this is what I'm aiming for with my plant. So whenever you top it, the plants tend to grow, they're almost like main stems, more of them. And you, you'll be able to see back here that these are doing the same thing. And that's what, I, that's what you want whenever you top them is for them to be encouraged to branch out, to grow more foliage so they have more, um, more chances of soaking up the sunlight and then putting that energy into making those little buds. 
All right, guys, last thing. If your pepper plants look like this and they have a lot of, um, I guess like main stems or suckers, whatever you want to call them, you can actually cut them close to the main main stem and then stick them in water and root them. And once those roots are about three to four inches long, you can plant them. So if you have a really good looking plant, you can actually double your plant basically for free. All right, let's just recap. So I topped my mini bell pepper plants, my just regular bell pepper plants. I topped my poblano plants and then I topped my jalapeno plants. Now I did poblanos last year. It was my first year doing them and I didn't know I could top those. And so this year I did and they look so different, especially this one. So the plant that I had last year, I actually had two and it was just a long lanky main stem and I got a pretty good yield on it, but it didn't produce grapefruit. The um, poblanos were not very big and it just, it didn't have a lot of leaves, leaves on it. They were, it almost looked like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, just really lanky with fruit hanging off. But this looks so good. It looks very lush and it has a ton of buds on it. And you can see where a lot more are going to come in. A few years ago is, was whenever I started my, um, started jalapenos and I also didn't top them. And it was the same thing, a tall lanky plant. They had a pretty good yield for the jalapenos because they're just a very hardy plant that produce a lot, but um, topping them, they produce a lot more. So I'm really excited to see how well these do. And you can see that I've got a lot of foliage down here coming in, several buds. And so just doing that encourages your plant. If your plants are too old, you probably don't want to top them. You can experiment with topping them at different stages if you would like, that way you know for future references. But peppers are great, depending on what area that you live in and how long the um, summer is, they can be planted throughout the year. So it's not too late to go get um, pepper plants and top them and start them in your garden and compare them to what you already have. If you guys like this video or found it helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video.